Coyote problem in one Brevard city could soon cost homeowners triple digit fines. Yes, yeah, city leaders will vote in just a few hours on a new proposal to cut down on the number of coyotes roaming around their neighborhoods. News 6 reporter James Sparvero is in Brevard County now to explain why the animals are such a problem. There are signs at Gleason Park warning visitors of dangerous wildlife like coyotes. The city says not only are some people not keeping their distance, they're also feeding these animals. They have been extremely prevalent in the community. City manager Mark Ryan says it happened in March. Following that, we believe their behavior has modified and they're no longer fearful of hum humans. And that's scaring pet owners. Would you feed a coyote, sir? No. That's not a no, that's a hell no. Bill Boyd and Joyce Ott side with that answer. I would never feed a coyote. <laughs> They both own small dogs. That's Danny. Come on, Shannon, let's go this way. Bill recently spotting this coyote in his own backyard. We had one visit us right to our back door. And Joyce fearing coyotes are building homes around the park. I think it's a perfect looking den. She found this hole and took a closer look. I think they're hanging out in here. Both pet owners say they support the move from the city to fine anyone $250 for feeding coyotes. The city manager happy to have their support. We're trying to do what we can to protect citizens and pets in the community. That ordinance needs a simple majority vote tonight to become the law. That vote scheduled for 7 o'clock. Reporting in Indian Harbor Beach, I'm James Sparvero, News 6.